What's up guys? Megan here. We're back with another cooking video. Um, really getting into these lately. Hope you're enjoying them. If you are, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Today, we are, um, I've got my, my page marked by Teether here. Yes, my baby is almost 17 months old, but the girl is Teether. So, for some reason, it's wet from me washing it earlier. Uh, but today we are making, please don't move the tripod. Paisley, don't move mommy's tripod. Stop moving it. Bless her heart. Okay. Today we are making the black bean quesadilla from the book, Find Your Path. You can uh, order this from Target. They have an exclusive edition. You get an extra chapter. I still need to pick up that edition because I thought I bought it and I ordered the original like hardcover copy. I didn't get the exclusive edition and Target should have explained that better because I thought I was getting the exclusive edition. But whatever, I'm gonna get it anyway. So, okay, find your path, go pick this up. Okay, cool. I'll put a link in the description. But today we're doing the black bean quesadilla. But mine is going to be a black bean, y'all right? Okay. Mine is going to be a black bean chicken quesadilla. Um, but before I start that, if you're wondering, any of my clothes here, we got Kalia hoodie, we got a Kalia hat. Also, by Carrie Underwood, Kalia by Carrie. Check it out. Um, Paisley, you don't need that. Hold on. All right, so we're back. Uh, black bean quesadilla. Prep time is six minutes. Total time is ten minutes. Am I being annoying? I don't know. I, I'm just, it's late at night and, uh... I'm doing this, so here we go. Um, I'll try to not make my hat go over my eyes. Um, okay, total time 10 minutes. It serves one person. Uh, what you'll need for this recipe is olive oil spray, one whole wheat tortilla, eight inches or larger, a fourth of a cup. You know, I'm gonna show you all this on the stove in a second. What it says here for the recipe is I try to avoid, I try to avoid any Mexican restaurants. This is Carrie Underwood speaking. Because, again, this is her book. Of everything I want to order is so fried and cheesy. Of course, it's all amazingly delicious. Amen, sister. But I end up eating my weight in carbs and cheese. Oh, snap. Yeah. And the chips and salsa. It's a never-ending battle. Um, so I try to get my fix in other ways. Here's my healthy swap recipe for quesadillas. I love me a good chicken quesadilla at the Mexican restaurant. So... <laughs> We're gonna make this. I'm super excited. So, nutrition facts. Mine will be different with the nutrition. I'm using chicken, not uh, vegan meat. And I am using regular sour cream instead of low fat. So, mine will be a little bit different. But if you stick to her recipe, um, nutrition facts are 291 calories, 9.5 grams of fat, 35 34 grams of carbs, 11 and a half grams of protein, eight and a half grams of fiber, and two grams of sugar. And it also says at the end of the recipe what Mike likes. Mike is her husband, as I've mentioned in videos before. Uh, Mike might substitute some cooked chicken breast or ground bison for the vegan meat in this quesadilla. So, like I said, I am going to be doing chicken breast. So, all right, let's get going. Okay, okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do... I just cook my chicken breast in my air fryer because for one it's super easy and I like easy and simple and that's what it is. So I'll be cooking the chicken first because you need your meat to pretty well be cooked I'm sure before you actually, yeah it says a fourth a cup of cooked vegan meat like Boca crumbles or Morningstar Farms chicken strips or your favorite lean meat. So the chicken needs to be cooked before you actually put it in the skillet on the quesadilla, you know. So, we're gonna cook the chicken real quick. I'll show you how I do that. So, let's do that, do that. So we have my air fryer pan here. This is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with some olive oil spray. This is the Great Value brand, it is what I have. So we're gonna spray that. I'm going to take my chicken breast, which is defrosted, and stick it in the pan. 
Now I'm going to season the chicken with Mrs. Dash, uh, Mrs. Dash Southwest Chipotle seasoning. So this is what it looks like. For all of you vegetarians out there, I apologize for this portion of the video, but I'm not a vegetarian. Have never claimed to be. Did I try to be a vegetarian at one point in my life? I did. But I realized I like chicken. So, I could probably do without any other kind of meat. But chicken, I'm sorry, I just can't. I love animals though. I do love them, okay? I do. Um, if you notice the calendars on the month of March now, I think it was on January in my last video, and that really bugged me. So my husband must have fixed it because I'm too short to reach the nail that it hangs on. Fun fact. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to my air fryer. So here's my air fryer. It's the Instant Vortex. I'm going to slide this baby in. And as you can see, it says off. I'm gonna hit air fry, 370 degrees for 10 minutes and hit start. And voila, the chicken is cooking. Guys, I love my air fryer. It's the best thing that ever happened to me as far as cooking utensils. <laughs> Uh, that and my Instant Pot, um, but my air fryer, I use, I use it every week, for sure, um, but yeah, it's really good to cook chicken in, um, my mom actually cooks her chicken longer than I do, because she likes it to be more crispy, I like it to be a little bit more tender, not as crispy on the edges, so that's why I do mine at 370 for 10 minutes, so we're gonna let the, ki uh, the chicken cook, and then I'll get on to the rest of the ingredients. Okay, for this recipe, you're gonna need a bell pepper. You can use any color. Um, you're not gonna use the whole bell pepper. Um, I will do that in a minute. You're gonna need a yellow or a red onion. I picked a yellow onion. Uh, you're gonna need one whole wheat tortilla shell, reduced sodium black beans. Um, this is the sour cream I have. She uses reduced fat sour cream. This is what I had on hand, so that's what I'm using. Um, and then I have shredded mild cheddar cheese. Again, that's what I had on hand, so that's what I'm using. Uh, Mish's Dash Chipotle seasoning and olive oil spray. And you need a skillet big enough to hold your tortilla shell. And if you eat chicken, whatever kind of meat substitute you want to use, if it's chicken, if it's veggie, meat, you know, Cassie, my sister out there, is a vegetarian. She also posts YouTube videos on her channel. Casserella, go check her out. Link is in my description down below. You can check out her channel. Um, but she's a vegetarian, so Cassie, you can use your veggie meat, whatever, whatever that is. I don't really know. Chicken is done. The recipe calls for a fourth of a cup of chicken, so or a fourth of a cup, a fourth a cup of meat. So I know I cooked more than necessary, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put what I think fourth a cup of meat is, which is probably like three small strips, you know, like that. But what I'm gonna do is, you guys are gonna be so shocked by this. I'm gonna put my chicken in the food processor so that it's nice and shredded. Um, so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna measure it and see how much we got. Good deal, we've got a fourth a cup of chicken here out of just those three small strips. So that kind of gives you an idea of how much you need. The cool thing about fixing more chicken though is you get to fix this same meal like a lot more times than just one so it's a win-win i need a fourth a cup of the chicken and a fourth a cup of the black beans so i'm gonna go ahead and open this can up drain the juice measure out a fourth a cup of the beans and then put the rest away i'm just gonna add the beans into the bowl of chicken because everything is literally being thrown together into tortilla shell once we get to that point. So the recipe calls for two tablespoons of yellow onion and two tablespoons of bell pepper. So we're gonna get that chopped up. 
and then put it into the bowl as well. Okay, so we all know how I hate chunks of onion in my um, in my stuff, in my food. So we're actually going to put this into the food processor as well so that I can get it really, really finely chopped. But I will probably, let's be honest, I'll probably do the same thing with the bell pepper because it's just less to have to deal with. You can get it done quicker, so why would you not? On the recipe, it doesn't say to add everything into a bowl, but I'm finding that it's easier for me to follow that way. It just says to add everything onto the tortilla once you have it in the pan. But I'm going to add everything into a bowl and mix it up. That way it's evenly dispersed. So I need a fourth a cup of shredded cheese, and then a handful of spinach, and then Mrs. Dash seasoning. So um, the sour cream, of course, goes on last. Everything's inside here now. Sweet. I'm gonna add some seasoning here. I'm starting to realize this might not be an eight inch tortilla shell, but we're gonna work with it and see what happens. Just to clarify, this recipe is not a fail, I just, I don't think I used the right size tortilla, so I think it'll still be good. It's just all of this feeling I don't think was meant to go in that small tortilla. But we're going to test this out in just a minute because the cheese is almost melted and we'll test it out and see what it tastes like. So this is what it looks like. I got my sour cream on the side because I like to dip mine in it instead so now it's time for a taste test wow oh my gosh this is really good carrie underwood you did a great job with this recipe this is really good you guys you have got to try this again i don't think i used the right size tortilla because it did say a large skillet i don't really classify that skillet as a large i think of it as a medium i can definitely taste the onion so if i make this again which i'm sure i will uh, I may not put onion in it. I may just use like onion powder or something uh, because I'm just not big on onions. But this is really, really, really good. I wonder if my husband's going to approve of this. The only thing about my husband trying this is he doesn't like beans. So, I don't know how well that's going to go. I think it's delicious. So, you guys should definitely try this recipe out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here in case I don't get a video clip of my husband trying it. Uh, but I need to put this down and not eat it. But it's that good. I want to keep eating it. The onion is not super overpowering. But there might be some bites that have more onion in it than others. So I may not have mixed it up well in the bowl. So I just realized again. I forgot to add spinach. I forgot to add spinach to my quiche the other day. Me and the spinach were not working out. We don't have a good healthy relationship. I forget to grab it out of the refrigerator and use it. So spinach, I'm so sorry that I forget about you. But guys, if you want more greens, add your spinach to the recipe. I'm sure it would still be delicious. Delicioso. I don't even know if I said that right. Wow. I know, I know sometimes I sound really country. I can't help it, it's just who I am. <laughs> So, I just wanted to come on here and say that I forgot the spinach. Also, my baby girl's supposed to be sleeping right now. It's 10.15 at night, and she's still up. She's jumping in the crib, so I'm going to go see what that girl needs. So, yeah, that's all I came on here to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry my hat keeps kind of coming down in my face a little bit. I keep trying to adjust it. Um, don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any videos you would like to see in the future. And again, don't forget to subscribe. I do have a goal of reaching 500 subscribers. So if you want to help me out, that would be great. Um, God bless you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you're enjoying them. I'm having fun doing them. So uh, it's neat to try new recipes. And they're healthy. So that's even better. Um, 
Again, mine aren't super duper healthy because I'm using the ingredients that I have. I'm going to quit rambling on. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. God bless you guys. Love you all. Peace out.